little bit of foundation on this little brush on my eye because I really like to have my eyes evened out. So just a touch of foundation. And then I'm going to take my Chanel powder and brush and just go over that, even it out. shader and I'm going in with color elation uh, five color eyeshadow in meadow and I'm going to take this color right here I'm gonna apply that wet and or dampen and normally I don't because the color is pretty potent as is but I you know, since this is, the, this is the color it can stand out as much as it can so I'm gonna take some max fix plus And it's really going to bring out the shimmer in the color also. Now hold on to that brush because we may need to come back to it. And as you work with the colors, just keep balance in mind. We're going to go back with that Morphe uh, cinnamon shade. Just add a little bit more. I might even add some more before this is over with. Then I'm going to take this really stiff eyeliner brush, slant it, and go back to this eyeshadow base. Uh, let's go. <laughs> I can't talk. Let's go underneath the eye because we're going to apply some color under there as well. And if you get a little messy like I did, don't feel bad because we're going to take this. Again, I like to use my fingers, but I'll also take a brush. I might take a nice little nubby brush like this and just work it until I get it where I want it. I'm going to take my Urban Decay 24-7 pencil in Mars and apply that to the waterline. And then we'll add some more of that color from uh, the Meadow palette, that same green that we have on the lid, and we'll apply that underneath. And then I'm taking a kind of a pencil-like brush and going back to that Morphe palette that uh, cinnamon color we used on the crease I'm going to apply that underneath that brown just to knock off any harsh edges Press blush in coral.
and to highlight, let's take the uh, Colorlation Boxed Bronzer in Palm Springs. I'm taking a Beauty Basics brush. And I am obsessed with green and orange. I don't know why. I've loved it for years. And this has a nice amber tint to it. Now I'm going to take just a little bit of this. go right over the eyes here for lips I'm going to try and do two things um, first of all we can do a look just for fun see how it turns out so I want to take the Urban Decay lipstick in Junkie and just show you what that looks like and this is just if you want to just go all green. So I'm going to take Max Lip Pencil and Chestnut. Since we're going down this route, I'm going to take a Lime Crime uh, lip gloss. I don't know if they still make this color. Uh, I don't have the color. The sticker fell off, but I'll try and put the, if I can find the name, put it in the description box for you. And I hope they still sell this. It's a really nice gloss. It has a beautiful shimmer to it also. So with the eyes, and we'll be right back, because I think I want to try an orange for the next one. Okay, so we're going to try an orange this time, and I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Paint in Orange Envy. I think this is color 322. Now, I'm thinking I may have used this in a previous video. If I did, forgive me, I adore this color. So let's go ahead and pop this on. And it is bright. I think I'm going to take chestnut and just see. I just hit it lightly. Wow. And then, just for the sheer fun of it, I'm taking this lip gloss from uh, Wet n Wild, and the color is Love Potion, and it has a little bit of a pinkish cast to it, so we're going to see how this goes, but from what I remember, it goes on really sheer and has a beautiful sparkle to it, so let me just apply a little bit right in the middle of the lip. I like that guys 
All right, so just coming in on the eyes again and the lip colors. Guys, thanks so much for joining me. Please rate, comment, subscribe, share. And guys, thank you so much. I, I really want to say thank you to the people uh, who've been watching and giving great support and uh, guidance on my videos. I really appreciate uh, you taking the time out to care enough about uh, what I do and how I do it. And thank you so much for your support. I, that's always so, means so much to me. And thank you all, many of you, for putting out some really beautiful work. I've enjoyed watching you. And just thanks so much, guys. You're just such a blessing to me. And you guys just stay blessed.